What's going on, Vault Dwellers? This is Top Ranking Noob, back at it again with another helpful video for Fallout 76. And I'm putting this video together out of request for a lot of the viewers in the comments, asking, hey, enough with the, uh, the unlimited caps. What we really need at this point is some stem packs. So I'm going to be showing you an exploit. Uh, this was actually shown first by Lort TV about a week ago. Um, but the problem was his location was strictly for a high level players, which doesn't do everyone a whole lot of good. So I'm going to be showing you the same exploit, but at a much lower level accessibility. All right, so if you guys find this helpful, please smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and of course hit that bell so you'll be the first to be notified anytime I do any uploads. With that being said, let's get started. So I'm going to be showing you this grind at the Agricultural Research Center. This is the same location I did one of my Capstash runs. Uh, and for this demonstration, what I did is I created a brand new character, because why not? I was a little bored. Uh, so I ranked this character up to level 5. We're here at the Voltec Agricultural Center, which is right in Flatwood. So you come across this almost right out of the vault. Uh, I did stash all of my aids, so you can see I'm starting with a blank slate. And what I did do is I completely leveled up my Pharma Pharma perk card. You don't have to level it up to three, but you do need to make sure that you have it to at least level one in order for this exploit to work. Now I choose this location because there's quite a bit of different uh, pharmaceutical stashes around here. Uh, I'm only going to do about three on the outside to show you the point. So I'm going to grab these two items up. And notice that as far as commands, I got take, transfer and search. Uh, one of the problems I had when I first ranked up the Pharma Pharma is it wouldn't give me the search option. So if you don't see that option there, log out after you purchase the perk card and log back in and re-equip that perk card and that fixes the problem. Uh, so there's one. We're going to come here, grab everything out and hit the search. I got nothing there. So this isn't the exploit yet. Um, see what we got here and search there we go so by having it to level three this works quite a bit better so I'm just gonna grab those three up there's more out here but for demonstration purposes I'm gonna keep that part simple and then I'll show you the full run that I do after I'm done here so I grab those three outside I'm gonna come inside real quick and this is the important part you need to be able to access a place that does a loading screen for you and that's why this area works so we got a, a stem pack under here. Yay, cool. Uh, let's run around and grab a few more. Dun, 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 dun. There's another one. And search. So I'm grabbing up stem packs like crazy. Uh, and of course, as you guys know, this works for more than just stem packs. What you get is kind of luck of the draw. So you're going to get some rad away, some rad X. Uh, some extra buffs, uh, buff out, whatever. You're going to get all kinds of goodies on this. So I grab those. I'm going to run outside. And this is where we're going to actually see the exploit at work. So the containers that I grabbed are now empty. And then I search them for additional goodies. Because I'm at level 3 on that Pharma Pharma, I got an 80% chance of more goodies appearing. Load screen taking a while. That was my first Scorch Beast kill. I just basically repaired a turret and let it do all the work because that's how a noob does it. All right, so now let's go back to those three um, stim pack locations that I just took out. If I can think of how to talk here, it sounds like my voice is lagging. All right, and that one's not going to let us search it. So sometimes that happens for whatever reason it doesn't allow us to search it so that's a bad first example let's go to the second location here we are okay see this one's gonna let us search it a second time and that's how the exploit works we can basically just keep hopping in and out of a load screen and search it again and grab extra goodies so this is gonna allow us to do uh, unlimited stim packs unlimited right away so you can see with one partial run, I already have like three stem packs, a diluted stem pack, uh, purified water, because I started out completely empty of all aid. And that was only part of my run. So let me show you the full run now if you want to stick around for that. And I'll show you where all of these uh, locations are in this general area. Starting with this little bunker, I found two of them in here. Along with some pools. That's why I got my board. All right, 
right, so we got one location here. We got some heavy disease cure right away. All right, so there's two in here. And then let's go to the back and I can figure out how to get over this crazy obstacle. There we go. Let's I saw a can of dog food on one of my... Oh, no, it's dog tags. Never mind. All right, there we go. The nice thing is once you clear this area out, we're not going to be doing server hopping, so we don't have to keep clearing it out. Plus, the robots and the ghouls fight each other quite a bit, so it's pretty easy. All right, so we got another stem pack box here. First aid kit, whatever we want to refer to it as. And we're going to run around to the other side of this greenhouse area and we got another one down here perfect so that's the full outside run we'll just go inside grab up some more of these and just repeat the process man these load screens are taking their time today Okay, so we should have one on the counter here, and that one's not going to let us search it. That happens sometimes, not a big deal. That's why it's nice to find a location that has lots of these little first aid kits. See, this one will let us search it, and we got some right away. It's a disease cure. Got one behind the desk here. And then there's another one I didn't grab earlier during the demonstration. It's right upstairs in this room right here. All right, so that is the full inside run. Oh, wait, that one that one does have some goodies in there. What did it do? It was delayed. Oh, stem pack. All right, cool. So yeah, sometimes it's delayed there for whatever reason. And that is the full inside run. So we can just keep going around and around and around here. There's hardly any enemies, and all the enemies that do spawn are pretty easily manageable. On top of that, there's an event here that you can do, uh, so you'll get extra XP on that, which is pretty important at lower levels. Uh, I did this demonstration with level 5, but of course you don't have to be level 5 to do this. You can, as long as you got that Pharma Pharma perk card. All right, perfect. Well, that's it. Uh, I hope this works out for you guys. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time.